grab the sawzall, we'll cut that tire off that rim. Even though it's just a steel one, but it makes it a clean steel rim. And get that old heavy stove stripped down. Get the copper cord taken off. We're gonna be loading all this up into the scrap wagon to haul in here, scrap hounds. Might take my truck into the backyard by the scrap shack there to load up shred metal and whatnot to have here rather than carrying it. And uh, I got all these bins, but from here, this isn't too bad. I got, uh, you know, I can probably move, move those without, but I do have some stuff down here. Microwaves and different things filled up that I'd rather not carry or put in my old, poor old rickety wheelbarrow. They suffer enough. They're pretty much good for leaves and that's about it. But yeah, so a bit of an update. I've been busy somewhat. I mean, lots of the same junk, but I have been tearing a bunch of stuff down and processing motors, stuff like that, and uh, keep them busy. I've been going through all my catch em all buckets of wire. Anybody that's watching this, do not do this with your wire. Process any and all wire as you get it. And that's a pretty good sized tub. It's not full, full, but I've got more. Got more. Moving on through the scrap shack. Things are a little bit organized. It's a tote there, all pretty much Wi-Fi boxes and routers um, and some miscellaneous stuff, some CD drives, this, that. Buckets of uh, copper and the yellow one's uh, hard drive. You know, the clean hard drive pieces. Yeah, so I'm trying to clean up back here in the scrap shack. Uh... I know, I know, it doesn't really look like it, but uh, I have been going through and definitely processing up a bunch of the wire. I've got, um, well, under here is a, one of my catch em all buckets, but, <coughs> excuse me, uh, these bins are, this bottom bin is wire for stripping, like your number one, your nice stripping wire. This is all your, uh, like, low grade tin coated wire. Uh, the bucket down there is your non-tinned um, copper wire with only one, you know, like your 60%. Anyway, yeah, uh, dug this bin out. Of, this has made it into a video a long time ago, about a year. I picked all this e-waste up at uh, the dump there. And uh, there's some nice gold stuff in there. Some nice gold chips. There's a few more. I've got a couple more boxes of them. They don't want to really focus. Focus. Focus, darn you. Anyway. But yeah. Bins of phone stuff. A lot of cordless phones. Office phones. Stuff like that. Uh, phone wire. It's got to be gone through. I got stuff kind of piled up. I had to move... Get this a little bit more so I can get into the back, but I do kind of have a walking trail all the way around it when I do move some stuff. I'll stick you back over there. But then I've got this stuff piled up here. Sorry about the shaky footage there. A little bit of my e-waste, the gold recovery from the e-waste station there. And just kind of some of my, my stuff that goes along with it. Yes, I do wear a mask when I do it, and gloves. But, uh, yeah, scrap pounds. I have been busy. Um, just tidying up the scrap shack. We're getting ready for snow before, you know, it could be any day now. So, a bunch of this is going to get moved yet. I do got the, the mess in the sheds over here that I got to get into. So it's going to be a busy few days ahead of me. You guys have all seen this wonderful disaster. I have pulled a few things out, but uh, I just get a little overwhelmed in here. And uh, yeah, but so this is going along. 
I've got, uh, you know, in the back there, things cleared out a little bit, but there are things, you know, you kind of got to pull stuff out and then put things back in the shed, right? How it kind of goes. So, yeah. A bit of progress in there. Over by the doghouse here. <laughs> it's my old camper that I hang out in. Completely forgot my tarp blew off and it was blown over in front of my door. So I've been holding it up there with a copper transformer. I'll have to grab that guy. <laughs> Want to get through the metal of the aluminum there. That really needs to be sorted, but not a big deal. But right all here, I need to get all this moved over to the scrap shack. Uh, it's all bins. I think maybe I've opened it up once or twice, but bins out more mixed wire like i said scrap hounds i want to keep this this is a good ro roll of uh copper i'm going to mount that up kind of as an extension cord sort of thing but yeah process your wire as you get it because oh yeah <laughs> but there is some processed wires in here you know there's more telephone cables these kinds of things and that'll all go for because they got the gold pins in it so my phone doesn't want to focus real well gold pins and that stuff you know and also the phone cable ends so that stuff will be cut off for gold recovery and uh, yeah so like i say it's just it's all all wire it's a nice heavy wire in there that i've got to strip down and go through get ready to move this stuff here and pass that there uh, those brake rotors, those are for my coal forge setups. Yes. Yeah, just some VCRs. Let me say I can just toss them there. And these guys, I'm uh, not really too sure what they are. I've got a few more components that go along with this sort of stuff. It came with some servers. Uh, there's a great big box. I can show it when I go back over by the scrap shack. And, uh, but yeah, so they need to go. Yeah, there's a Sirius uh, the satellite radio rack unit. Thing's pretty cool. I'm sure it's got to have some goods in it. I you sure don't want to focus. I'm not sure what's wrong with my phone lately. Yeah, I'll wire some kind of Lux wireless controller. And their favorite Motorola soggy motorola star choice internet no not internet sorry satellite box some plastic for recycling toss that there with some cans oh we got some water here hey. i just didn't want to get that on my feet actually take uh lay, lay, lay all that stuff down on that lid there oh we're gonna have to be careful of this one see it rains off these are sitting in a bad spot right beside this tarp on my camper yeah that's silly oh, there there's more t money bells motors uh mylar sheets uh, I'm wondering maybe some of this might have got rained on, but yeah, lots of boards and wire that still need to be processed. I'm real good at half tearing things down and not uh, cleaning the boards up. Not, uh, I figure kind of an assembly line stuff, but uh, so yeah, this is all got to get moved over to the scrap shack, scrap hounds. dropping stuff what's this here oh focused aren't you yeah it looks to be an aluminum motor yep definitely aluminum so i have to just sit right there for now really got to see why my phone doesn't want to stay focused on anything so i'm really sorry if this video has been half out of focus and here's another Rubbermaid bin that is just about right full to the top with wire that uh, needs to be gone through, you know, dryer cords. There's some welding. This thick stuff here 
Uh, that's from uh, uh, sorry, from an arc welder or stick welder. Yeah, just extension cords, more mixed wire. But I think a lot of it that's in here, while well, there is some uh, double insulated stuff, but yeah, there's a there's a mix in here. So I got to get these hauled over to the scrap shack and gone through and uh, add the 60% to all my other 60% and the 40% to my other 40% or if I figure that it dons it for stripping the 40% um, you know then I'll strip it down from there uh, you know like stuff like that I, you know like I wouldn't strip it down I don't even know what the scrap yards would take that for there we don't want to focus anymore <laughs> Boy, that's bad. Anyway, yeah, it's, I don't know, some kind of, probably some kind of telecom wire. But yeah, so I gotta get that stuff sorted through. It's been sitting here actually since last summer, these three bins. And that stuff, so yeah, that's gonna go over. Uh, I don't even know what's all up in here. Mixed junk that uh, may or may not be good, but, you know, same up under here, I got uh, some more satellite boxes and uh, whatnot there's some cat 5 wire hard drive bits and pieces that are probably some scrapped out completely some midway some not scrapped uh, no toolbox here obviously and it's this little bag full of fun stuff and mixed wire and junk that bit, have to haul that over, that needs to be gone through. Yeah, see, I got stuff stashed everywhere. Computer tower from, uh, I think that was the girlfriend's old desktop computer. It was actually the first computer that I tore apart for this first scrapping. <laughs> yeah, scrap pounds, so that's what I've been at. Also some other, you know, other regular stuff. Nine to fivers. But, uh, yeah. So we utilize these last few beautiful days as much time as I can <clears throat> to get as much of this uh, processed. It's not all got to be hauled in, but uh, my shreds definitely got to be hauled in. Sorry if I'm talking really fast, uh, trying to cover a bunch of stuff. It's, it's been a while since I made a video. My mind's going 900 miles an hour all the time so if I don't kind of keep on track I, I lose what I'm doing uh, missed you guys I missed you guys all the time been uh, crazy watching binge watching all the scrap family videos love watching everybody's videos and I get that old bike put away I'm probably gonna uh, <coughs> haven't picked up tubes for it but it's kind of late in the year for that so yeah that'll get put in the garage might actually hang it up in from the rafters sort of thing so it's up out of the way and uh and get back oh the door closed on that side oh i closed the door i closed the door didn't I? i'd have to go back and look when i'm editing yes i closed the door i'm pretty sure anyway yeah clean out a bit more of this stuff like i say i want to turn this side of the shed into a chicken coop next spring doesn't have to be pretty it's just got a keep them hosed right and then go like fence I'll have all this area cleared out but kind of from the back side of the this corner of the shed here kind of get come around anyway put a, a fence here so the chickens can free run out in a bit of the yard and whatnot here be nice stuff eggs are expensive so is chicken raise your own then you know what you're eating as well yes yes Still haven't done that barbecue. Yeah, it seems like I haven't really done much of anything. Mixed, that's like all mixed aluminum. That's got, you just gotta dump it on the ground. It's guaranteed full of water. Uh, pounds and pounds of Christmas lights everywhere. I found a bin over here the other day. It had some stuff stacked on it. More Christmas lights and party lights. Uh, I don't know if it's better to cut the bulbs off and just take that the low grade wire 
Uh, the bulbs, I could probably, if I just cut them off, I mean, there is a little bit of brass and stuff, I guess, inside of them. But I could throw them in, uh, like, a small box and just get rid of it at the e-waste recycling bins at my dump there. I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> I wish we had better e-waste recycling sort of things here, but... So, yeah, anyway, definitely phone the scrapyard and see if they care if there's the bulbs on them, but... I'm sure they'd like it more if the bulbs are cleaned off. And a stack of CRT TVs that I've picked up. Got to be scrapped down. This little guy's kind of cool. Uh, Simophonic. I don't know. And then there's a couple Samsons. Actually, they've been here for a while. Um, look at these two flat screen TVs. This one over here. And that one, I plugged them in this morning, and they both work. Uh, that little one, the picture isn't so, so great. But this Insignia TV here, it's actually got a pretty decent picture on it. <clears throat> I did pick up another one a month or so ago. Uh, pretty much, I think, the same TV. And I have it over in the doghouse, the camper there. And uh, set up as my TV. So maybe this one would be for the garage, the bathroom. Who knows? <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I picked up also, this was on the, a back road, this all-in-one Apple unit. Uh, someone was clearly using it for target practice. <laughs> you can see the bullets, but you know what? I got to give it to, to Apple, to Macintosh, because those are pretty good size. That ain't like a 22 caliber. Those are pretty good size bullet holes, like, you know. And check that out, Scrap Hounds. They punctured like they they punched through, made some good dents, but it did not go through. So there you go. You're ever getting raided? Stand behind your all-in-one. <laughs> and a little fire pit area. Um, stuff kind of cluttered up there because I had, like I say, I've been moving things around in the in the scrap shack here. So you know how it is. You move stuff out, you move stuff in, <clears throat> that sort of thing, right? But Little fireplace has been nice in the early mornings and in the evenings. A couple of days ago, I had it going all day and uh, it was a little chilly. Yeah, nice little spot. So I just threw some TV backing, you know, the backs off of TVs, uh, sheet metal parts to kind of trap in, block in the heat there. I did have a fan set uh, on this side of it, blowing some of the warm air into the scrap shack. And uh, it definitely did its trick. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been stacking stuff, just small things that I got to tear apart, you know, uh, that were in the scrap shack here. And I'm like, really doesn't need to be in there. So they, I've just been hawking it out the door at the smashing station there. Sorry, my nose and everything's still plugged up. I am still fighting this cold or virus that is going around. It's kind of settled into my chest now. Um, so coughing and congestion and whatnot, all that good fun stuff that goes along with that. I know uh, Scrapping Scorpion and That's Right Recycling. Hercules and Jericho, they've all been sick down there. Big Country Scrapper and Rooster. You know, so I wish anybody that's watching this that's kind of down with the cold right now that uh, you get better soon. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'm going to step on that. Uh, fuse sitting on the ground. I need broken glass in here. My scrap hounds and my kitties like to come in here. My kitties like to come in here and poop everywhere, though. Like, they go back kind of back in there and they poop and I'm like oh man I'll be sitting here and you know you just smell it and it's like ah oh, kitty <laughs> and anyway so this is just a little bit of a long-winded update I missed you all so hopefully that you guys all missed me too <laughs> and yeah anyway so it's yeah just an update on what I've been up to say uh Trying to get into the swing, um, coming into fall here. So they're definitely, uh, you know, all getting, blah, 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 blah. 
I lost my train of thought. Do you ever do that? Right in the middle of a video. I have such problems with that scrap pound. It's just completely. I think it's ADHD or something like that. They call it. I don't know. Right, right. Which reminds me. E-Waste Mike, in your video there, you were, had that uh, computer with the screen thing that slid out on a bracket. I think you got it with some servers. It's kind of buried under this stuff. I'll try to dig it out in my next video here. But uh, I left a comment saying I have something that's like almost the same thing. Well, there it is. I'll, like I say, I'll dig it out and uh, try to look here at the backside. Give you a little show there. Not the greatest, but uh, yeah, brother. I'll pull that out because, like I say, it looks just like that thing that you showed. And then uh, down below it are the server racks and the other thing that I picked up with it. Uh, and in the video over by the camper. There's uh, some stuff there that I showed. This control four, it's upside down, but I said mentioned that um, I had a bigger unit over in the shed, and I was gonna show it. So yeah, here's me showing the bigger unit, and that all came with that stuff. So I think it came from a DJ because he had. I'm thinking that's what he it was used for because he had a bunch of light pods. I got some power bars and old cords that were no good from them. But, uh, yeah, brother, I just wanted to show this in this video. And next I was like, heck, I hadn't seen one before. And then when you showed that one in your video, that was the second one, like that thing that I've seen. But, yeah, I'll pull it out in my next video, brother. That little blue one's got some weight scrap pounds. Much love, much love. Anyway, scrap pounds, I'm gonna get back to work here. Smash the thumbs up button. Drop me a comment or two down below. Love reading everybody's comments. Let me know how you're doing. And all that good fun stuff. If you're new to the channel, check out more of my videos. I got just over 150 videos between shorts and long form. There might, there's a couple live streams in there. The live streams aren't really that great. My internet isn't so, so uh, wonderful when it comes to streaming. But yeah, hit that subscribe button and jingle the bell. You can get more, all the notifications when I upload some more scrap and videos and updates and you know, just whatever I'm up to, scrap pounds. Day to day life. Much love, much love. Take it easy. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.